Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to create a real-time chat application using Node.js, Socket.io, and MongoDB as our database solution. Uh, we're going to be doing this all front-end and then just using uh, Node just to handle uh, the, the actual request to the server to store the data and then obviously relay that onto other clients or push that onto other clients. Um, don't worry if you've not worked with Node.js before, or Socket.io, or even MongoDB. We'll be going through um, you know, how we're actually going to make all these interact to make this chat application work. And um, as you can see, you can enter a name up here, but this is uh, obviously customizable. You could change this to actually work with, say, a logged in user on your website. So this, this will work perfectly with an existing solution, uh, as long as you just carefully integrate it, you know, follow along and understand how this all works. So at the moment, um, I don't have my MongoDB uh, server running or my Node.js uh, server running. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit enter on here and you'll just see we get a failed to connect message. So this sort of gracefully, um, you know, lets the user know that uh, we they couldn't collect, connect. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and open uh, or run my MongoDB database. Uh, so I just type MongoD uh, like this and that's going to go ahead and run or or you know, start my database. Um, what we can then do is go ahead in a separate window, uh, run our Node.js server. Um, so you can see Socket.io started. That's what we're using to uh, as a node module to accept connections. We're going to do that on uh, the web side of things as well. So now that we've got that working, let's go ahead and just refresh both of these windows. Uh, you can see that we don't get the message as we had before. Um, and you can see that just here we've got a little bit of information here that's, uh, you know, come through from Node.js so we can sort of monitor what's going on in this end as well. So we're now going to test just actually passing messages from client to client. So I'm going to go ahead into two different names here. Um, and obviously, as we've said, or just say Billy, uh, as we've said, this is entirely customizable. You can use this with already logged in users. So I'm just going to type hello. You'll see that both instantly uh, show this, this message. Uh, if I was Billy and I was going to say hello there, this would again just instantly appear. And regardless of whether you know you are on the same machine or you're on a machine you know miles away, uh, the late you will get a tiny bit of latency. But the speed of this, because we're using WebSockets and Node.js to serve this content, it's very 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 quick. There's no AJAX polling or anything like that, uh, unless Socket IO has fall, fallen back to this. So basically, this is how the chat works. We're going to start by you know building out the design, and then we're going to start by, by actually you know writing JavaScript. There's no uh, library dependencies here. We're going to do everything using vanilla JavaScript, so no jQuery or anything like that. Uh, the only dependencies we obviously have is the ability to include Socket IO, the library, so we can actually use it to connect to our Node.js server. So that's basically what the chat looks like, and in the next video, we'll be going ahead and actually designing this out.